So I recently got asked how to build out a directory in my school group. One of the um, members actually asked that question. And I've actually went through all my YouTube videos and I've done videos on programmatic SEO, but I've never done a video on how to build out a directory. And it's, it's a very good question. It's kind of similar to like programmatic SEO. Um, but I'll show you guys like a couple uh, directory websites that do very well and they also earn very well. And then we'll obviously replicate some of these sites. So all I've done is I've just searched for dentist directory and as you can see in the UK we've got a, a lot of um, dental directories. So for example as we can see here we've got one and it's probably got like, um, it's got 226 dentists just in Manchester. So a lot of directories what they end up doing is they might have like a free version um, or like a free um a free sign up but then they'll also have like a paid version as well the paid version like typically will have for example a home page link to a website or potentially a do follow link to a website so there's a lot of different ways that you can actually monetize uh, directories and then if we take a look here lawyers directories so we've got lawyersociety.org.uk if we click on these guys and this seems like a, an actual government approved one. Um, here we are, bestlawyers.com. These guys are absolutely massive, um, but they do exactly what, what we're basically planning out to do here. So we've got like the different countries. So if I search for United Kingdom, then I'm going to assume they're going to have all the different towns or the different uh, practices. Yeah. So if we go to like litigation, for example, and as you can see here, they've got like 12 litigation lawyers. Um, if we go to environmental law, they have got only one lawyer and so on and so forth. You get the point now. And then as you can see here, these guys, they are charging $200 a month for a subscription for their website. So that's actually like a, it's actually a little bit more on the more expensive end, but you've got other sites like Yell as well. Um, and they charge, I think it's like £50 a month. Um, so again, times that by 12, you're going to be getting a lot of, of money from companies uh, as, as soon as you've actually built out your directory. So one thing that is the same for all of these websites is the fact that they are all programmatic SEO pages. So even if we were to like load up, for example, um, yellow pages, right? Yellow pages. So that's like our Yelp equivalent in the UK. If we click on to like, for example, um, popular categories, and if we were to do like, for example, cleaners, and if we scroll all the way down, as you can see here, they've got like different uh, different cleaners in different areas. So like cleaners in London, Manchester, they've got different types of cleaning. So domestic cleaning or window cleaners or carpet cleaners. Um, they've obviously got like more areas as well. But basically, it's very simple to replicate some of these websites. What we basically need is first of all, we need a list of locations. And then second of all, we need a list of businesses. So for that, I am just gonna use ChatGBT. I'm gonna basically ask it, um, generate me a list of let's say 15 um, dentists in Manchester. And then we're basically gonna create these into actual um, programmatic SEO pages. So this is the prompt that I've used. It's nothing really special, but this is it. Can you give me a list of 20 lawyers in Manchester? I need it for my programmatic SEO website. So give me business name, telephone number, small business bio, free services that they provide, and also the business address. Now, one thing that I would say is the more uniqueness that you can add to a page, the more likeliness of that page ranking. So what I mean by that is if you can include um, reviews or testimonials or images or business logos, that's going to essentially be a way more unique page. But for the purpose of this video, I'm, I'm happy with um, just this. Um, but if we take a look at like yellow pages, for example, so they've got like reviews here. 
Um, they have got like the members of the Federation of Master Cleaners as well, which is I'm, I'm going to assume it's kind of like a a governing body. Let's say they've got the opening time. Um, they have got photos of the actual business here. They've got the prices as well of what it starts at, and then they've got a, l a much larger list. We've only got like three services, but like what I said, just for the purpose of this video, um, we're we're gonna keep it pretty slim. They've also got like payment methods, so you can essentially include a lot more um uniqueness to each page. Also, another thing as well that you can include is the Google Map embed as well. So my next prompt here, like I've just looked through all of these different uh, law firms and I'm happy with them. But my next prompt is I'm going to create this into a CSV and I'm going to upload it as a Google Sheet. So bear with me for a couple minutes and I will do that now. So I have just imported my CSV now. As you can see, um, we have got a list of the business name, telephone number, business bio, service one, two, three, and the business address. Now, some of these, what you might just need to do is spend maybe like five or six minutes actually getting the business address. Because as you can see here, these guys, they've just got Manchester head office or Manchester office. So like what I was saying before, the more unique that all of the pages are, the higher chance of these pages actually ranking. Um, same goes with like the telephone numbers. Obviously, this is all like basic stuff. Just make certain that you're spending a little bit of time on your on on your data, because at the end of the day, if you're uh, uploading, let's say, thirty lawyers or a uh, sixty dentists, for example, and out of the sixty, forty of them just don't have any addresses or they don't have any telephone numbers you're not actually that great of a directory. You want to be seen as the, the expert. The next thing, what we want to do is we want to use a plugin called Multiple Pages Generator. It's also called MPG, and I will show you what that plugin looks like. So this is the uh, plugin here. There is a paid version, and there is also a free version. I am using the free version, so as you can see here, this is what the... This is what it looks like on the WordPress repository. Um, but this will basically allow us to create pages based off of what data is actually in our Google Sheets. So if we were to go and add in like five more um, five more law firms in Manchester, for example, it's going to live update the pages on our website. So right now we've only got 10 law firms, but if we were to go and add in another five, it's going to automatically create those pages on our website. So this is what it basically looks like. Um, all, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on MPG on the left-hand side. I'm going to click from scratch here. I'm going to give it a template name. So this is going to be law firm locations. We're going to choose the entity type. So actually, first of all, before I do this, I'm going to create a new page and I'm just going to call a, um, we'll, we'll call it lawyers. Um, man, oh, we will call it Manchester, Manchester law firm. Um, well, I'll just publish this page. We're going to come back to this page in just a second, right? We're going to set up our project. Um, so we're going to select pages and we're going to search for the page that we've just created. So we've got Manchester Law Firm and then we're going to um, apply template if URL contains. Nope, that's fine. Everything else we're going to leave as is. Then once we've saved our project in MPG, it's going to give us a few more options, right? So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to Manchester Law Firm Directory. You could call this Google Sheet anything that you want, right? I'm going to then click share and then anyone, anyone with the link can view it. And we are going to go down to direct link to source file, right? And this is basically where we're going to paste in our Google Sheet. And if we click on fetch and use, that's basically going to pull in all of the actual data. Now, a few things about this, right? Um, if you want to basically update or if you want 
the plugin to go to the Google Sheet every like once a week or twice a week or monthly and stuff like that, you can set you can set this here. Um, I'm going to set this to just being live, so whenever I update the sheet, it's going to live update um, the actual pages. Then what we've got is the um, we've got the data preview here, obviously. So that, as you can see, we've pulled in everything here. So we've got the uh, business name, we've got the telephone number, we've got the business bio, and we've got everything else here. Um, then we've got the URL generation. So this is pretty important. Um, what you could probably do, or what I would do here, is I would create a... So... It depends on how big your business directory is going to be, right? You could have like the URL to be, for example, forward slash Manchester forward slash business name, or you could just have it as business name. Um, it's completely up to you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it set to MPG business name, I think. Um, and then obviously we'll have all of the pages that look like this. Um but what you could also do as well is you could have it set to forward slash Manchester. So it's um, your website URL forward slash Manchester forward slash business name. It's, it's completely up to you on how big your business directory is going to be. One thing that I would recommend though is don't change this after like a couple months. Keep this like fi figure out what your URL structure is. The, or the URL structure that you want and then keep it as that. Don't go changing it in a month's time because you're going to end up losing a lot of um, SEO traffic. So now that we have got the actual template set up here, we want to go over to the short code section and this is where all of our short codes lie. So basically what we want to do is we are going to obviously use the business name. So what I'm tempted to do is we can have this in the H1, right? So I'm going to copy that short code in here. Then I'm going to have the telephone number. Or actually, do you know what? I might have it twice. So uh, business name, right? We will have the business name here listed twice. Then we can obviously have the business, business address. So basically, what, whatever you you craft in this page, this is what's going to go across all of your pages. Um, so I will show you exactly what I mean by that in just a second. So this is what I have done. So I've got the business name. So whatever the, the law firm is, let's just call it Kazra-LLP. Then we've got business name here. So again, same thing. Then we've got the business address. So whatever the, the address is, let's just call it 17 Manchester Road. This is what it should look like. Um, and then we've got business telephone number. And then we've got the business bio. And then we've got free services that they also provide. So I'm just going to click save. One thing I will say is that obviously right now, currently looking at the page, or if you were to inspect this, this page, it's going to look a little bit funky. But... This isn't the page that we are worried about right now. What we actually are going to be looking at is this section here. So these are our pages. So if I was to click on any one of these, this is basically what it looks like. So Heldixon LLP, Manchester Law Firm. Then we've got Heldixon LLP. We've got the address in here. We've got the telephone number. We have got a little business bio about them, and then we've got free services um, that they provide as well. One thing that you can also do as well is you could also just add this as a link. So if I copy this, so if I um, enter in this, I think this needs to be tell. Um, and if we save that, that should now be a link to their telephone number so that's obviously gonna um, phone them um, so there's different things like that that you can obviously do as well now what a couple things about this before um, we end the video like obviously this um, I've not set like a theme so this is gonna be this is gonna like this is probably like the, one of the most ugliest websites that you've looked at but but 
if you're going to be setting up a proper director, you want to be using like a nice looking theme where you can obviously embed the, the GMB. You might have a review section. You might have like the opening hours of Monday through to Friday. Um, so you want to set up a proper theme. Like this is just like literally WordPress's default theme that I've used. And like what I was saying before, um, so if I click through to some of these ones, right, so this is like not specified. So in this case, what I would want to do is just go through to this actual law firm and figure out what their, uh, what their telephone number is. So this is an 0161 number and I'm just going to go back into this sheet. And where it says telephone number, I'm just going to update that there. And if we just reload this page, I think you do need to um, recrawl this now. So if I just do fetch and use this, you might just need to refresh this a couple times for this telephone number to actually update. So as we can see here, I've just refreshed it a couple of times. It does take maybe like five seconds for it to update. And as you can see, we've got the actual telephone number. I can't stress how important the getting the actual proper information is. Like ChatGPT and AI can help you when it comes to like building out directories, but sometimes they do miss out on just easy to, to fetch information like telephone numbers or uh, the actual business address and stuff. So if you do have any like blanks, maybe just spend like 20, 30 minutes just getting the actual information and it will help um, you go a long way. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. And if you guys do want to join the Hustlers Playbook, we are currently teaching a lot when it comes to AI, SEO, and we've also got a Facebook Ads module going live in the next week. Um, feel free to join. It is only $7 a month, and I do go live once a week in that um, community as well. I'm, I'm actually about to go live in like 10 minutes, so um, feel free to join. And also, I am hosting an in-person SEO conference called The Masterminders. It's happening on the 27th of June. So if you guys haven't bought your tickets, head over to themasterminders.com and grab your tickets there. We've got the likes of Craig Campbell, Lara Costa, James Dooley, and many, many more speaking. So grab your tickets while they are still available. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.